how has your comfort level, you know, uh, improved as you've gotten more and more playing time with the Dolphins? Sure. Um, you know, every day is better. Um, I told you guys before, you know, it, it's just as much about getting more comfortable with the guys off the field and uh, just building the communication day by day because, you know, every situation is a new new journey, if you will. So um, day by day, we just keep working. What impressed you about what Tua was able to do successfully in London? Sure. Um, Tua is obviously a very good quarterback. Um, I'm not really – surprise is anything I just try to sort of make his job as easy as possible from what I can do um, you know and then what I can communicate to my guys up front because you know I, I told you before I I don't see what's going on behind me and my only goal is to make sure that we can keep him going because you know he can do some things how was that a uh, quarterback center uh, chemistry with him <clears throat> yeah you know um, my first week here was the first time I had ever taken a snap with him was the um, was the first game so uh, you know, it was, it was nice. It's, it's a quarterback, and he's left-handed. Uh, I told you guys before that really doesn't mean anything to me. But, um, you know, I just try to get the ball back there for him every single time. You mentioned that uh, there is some discomfort, but when he gets in a game, he just puts it out of his mind mm -hmm. and, and, and moves on. Is there anything, as an offensive lineman, is there anything that you could sense either in a good way or a bad way as far as any discomfort he might have been feeling did he express any of that nope I, I had so if you didn't know you wouldn't have known that he's coming off an injury uh no I honest honestly you know and that might partially just be you know my mentality where I just zoom in and all I'm focused on is my job um but I I didn't I didn't notice anything crazy you talk, like you said you talked about the need to build chemistry off the field too how, how critical is that when things aren't going well to have that to have a group that you know likes and cares about each other sure you know i i think it's paramount if you're winning or you're losing um you know every team i've been on good or bad that has always been a goal especially in the offensive line room right you know there are five guys on the field but there are eight guys in a game and then there are 14 15 guys in the room and if you guys can't you know look at each other and sort of know what you're thinking in the game I mean, especially, like, let's go, like, a loud stadium, right? Like, in London, right? It got really loud every once in a while. You look at each other, you're, like, nodding. You're not even talking. So I think I think that's paramount, you know, no matter where you are. And um, I, I think it's something that you're always working to improve as well. I know you guys aren't totally focused on stats, but this was the first game where the Dolphins didn't give up a sack. Um, were you aware of that? And that must make you feel pretty good because that's a, the goal – I mean, I, I told you, you know, like stats are cool and all, but as an offensive lineman, the only stat that really matters at the end of the day is a W or an L. So uh, we're going to keep working. We're going to get in the room. You know, we got we got more meetings today, and uh, we're going to try to try to work harder so we can get that the outcome that I, that we really want.